I would like to extend my heartfelt apology for a video I made concerning a sermon by Lauren Livingston, a leader of a megachurch. In the video, I attempted to rebuke him, but my approach was misguided and disrespectful. It is critically important that I mention that even though there is some level of verity and truth into the sermon that was given out by Loring Livingston, I cannot consider him to be a true man of God or a pastor, simply due to the fact that he and his congregation still function within a denominational system, and on top of that, they still worship in a church. As it's written in Titus 1, 12 to 13, it says, one of, the, one of Crete's own prophets has said it, Cretans are always liars, evil brutes, lazy gluttons. This saying is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply so that they will be sound in the faith. Basically, what the verse is trying to say is that there will be some people out there, evil, with evil intentions, who will still say truth, who will still say true things. But just because they say true things doesn't mean they come with pure intentions. My problem in particular was that I came after him in a very disrespectful way. But there is nothing wrong with rebuking somebody respectfully and logically. Again, if you are a younger person or you're part of the younger generation, when going after people that are twice or three times your age, you got to make sure that you go after them respectfully according to the terms and boundaries of scripture. Now, I am in no place to judge and decide whether Lauren Livingston's intentions are wicked or good, as I do not know him clearly. But what I can say is that we can pray for him. We can pray that God opens his eyes and brings him back to the true doctrine and pulls him out of these denominational systems, which, like I said before, originate from pagan culture. As it is written in 1 Timothy 5, 1 to 2, it says, Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with absolute purity. During his sermon, Mr. Livingston passionately criticized Christian nationalists and their intertwining of the Bible with the Constitution of the United States, as well as their unwavering support for former President Donald Trump. Some of you bring politics into the church. You think that politics is spiritual stuff. Politics is of this world. You think it's your duty to be political about this, that, and the other. No, your duty is to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Don't be talking to me about my spiritual responsibility to vote. I don't have a spiritual responsibility to vote. I have a civic privilege. Don't be telling me that voting is spiritual. See, that's what happens when you don't read and pray. When you don't read and pray, you, you say, wow, there's a Bible out now that includes the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Isn't that wonderful? No. No, it's disgusting. It's blasphemous. It's a ploy. Are you kidding me? Some of you are so encouraged by that. Let me tell you something. The gospel is not an American gospel. It is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But pastor, I bought the Bible. Really? You're telling me that you're encouraged because someone took a government, U.S. Constitution, a document that says we are of the people, by the people, and for the people, the people, the people, the people. And you have put it right beside the Word of God, which is eternal, unchanging, which says of him, by him, through him, to him, from him are all things, and you're going to put those together and be happy about it? God forbid. Now, you can get mad if you want to, but I'm going to tell you something. 
If you glory in that kind of thing, you don't have a prayer life. If you glory in that kind of mess, political mess, you do not know what the Word of God says. I'm going to rear back and tell you something. This is not my home. This world is not my home. I've been sent out just like the 70 were sent out. You've been put here and sent out just like the 70 were sent out. We've been put here as strangers and pilgrims, and we are passing through. I am just walking through. I'm just renting an apartment for a little while in this strange and foreign land. No, sir. My real citizenship is in heaven from which we look for the Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, I responded harshly and disrespectfully, accusing him of misunderstanding or misrepresenting the situation at hand. Blinded by my patriotic worldview, I failed to recognize the truth of his message, as he was indeed correct. Our true home is not on this earth, but our true home is indeed in heaven. Furthermore, I now understand the dangers of idolatry that both surround Donald Trump and the United States. And I say this as someone who loves his country deeply. It is crucial to address these concerns. We must remember that the church and the state must remain separate entities. Our ultimate allegiance is to God, not to any political figure or nation. Once again, I offer my sincerest apologies to Mr. Livingston for my reckless and misguided actions. I also apologize to all of those who may have been missled by my words and actions. I acknowledge that my response was driven by carnal passions rather than spiritual discernment. Moving forward, I am committed to aligning my thoughts and actions more closely with the teachings of Christ and to approaching such matters with humility and respect. Thank you for your understanding and grace as I seek to grow and learn from this experience. God bless.